I was never a model student. From struggling to focus during exams to choking under pressure, academics were a major source of stress for me. That is, until I discovered the power of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo before my exams. This Nichiren Buddhist practice transformed my mindset and study habits, helping me tap into an inner well of wisdom and calm. In high school, I coasted along getting average grades. Studying seemed tedious and overwhelming. I would try to cram the night before a big test, only to find my mind racing as I stared down at the questions. My thoughts darted all over the place. I second-guessed my knowledge and inevitably struggled to concentrate. This cycle continued when I started community college. I dreamed of transferring to a four-year university, but my mediocre GPA didn't reflect my potential. There had to be a better way to prepare for exams. Around this time, I attended a meeting at the local Nichiren Buddhist Center. Members spoke of the benefits of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, from reducing stress to unlocking wisdom. By tapping into our Buddha nature through chanting, they explained, we can overcome any obstacle. I was intrigued, but doubtful. How could reciting a mysterious phrase help me academically? Yet I was desperate for a change. I committed to chanting for 15 minutes before studying and again before each exam. Remarkably, chanting helped me enter a calm, focused state ideal for absorbing information. By connecting with my inner wisdom, I tapped into a wellspring of knowledge. Concepts seemed to stick better and my mind felt laser-focused during exams. Rather than cramming in a panic, I developed a daily study routine bookended by chanting. Over time, my confidence grew. I enthusiastically aced subject after subject, earning high marks I never thought possible. My GPA shot up, and soon I was ready to transfer. However, when I arrived at my four-year university, I faced even greater academic rigors. Doubts crept in. Would chanting still work against intense competition and complicated subject matter? I'm not going to lie. That first semester was rough. I had to completely overhaul my study habits and chanting practice. Rather than just chanting at night, I woke up early to center my mind. I also chanted for patience and insight when tackling difficult new concepts. There were setbacks, including a low midterm score in a notoriously tough physics class, but I persisted in my chanting practice, remembering Nichiren's teaching that winter always turns to spring. Sure enough, by finals week, I found my groove. After earnest hours of chanting and studying, I entered each exam in a state of calm focus. The knowledge flowed smoothly, like water from a fresh spring. In the end, I earned all A's and B's that first semester, including an A in physics. Beyond bolstering my GPA, chanting nourished my spirit during that stressful period. I felt more in control of my academic journey. Now in my third year of university, chanting remains my secret weapon against academic stress. By connecting with my inner Buddha nature, I can direct my mind steadily toward any goal. The benefits go beyond test performance too. The practice has taught me self-discipline and consistent effort is the surest path to success. As Nichiren declared, advance with fervent vigor. Through chanting, Life's challenges become opportunities to reveal our potential. Had I not encountered academic struggles early on, I may never have discovered this empowering practice. My college journey still has twists and turns ahead. As adulthood approaches, there are many unknowns. Yet I feel equipped to handle what comes with courage and wisdom cultivated through daily chanting. I am forever grateful to the Nichiren Buddhist Center that first opened my eyes to Nam Myoho Renge Kyo's power to transform my life. This practice has shaped me into a confident, resilient student. To all who struggle with focus, anxiety, or doubt, I encourage you, tap into the unlimited potential within. By chanting, we can emerge victorious over any obstacle. Everything depends on the heart and manifesting our inner Buddha nature. The path ahead seems bright, though I know there will be peaks and valleys. During the valleys, I will chant earnestly for wisdom and strength. At the peaks, I will chant in gratitude while reaching to pull others up the mountain. 
We rise together. Our shared Buddha nature makes this possible. I now know every exam, every paper, every lecture is a chance to reveal my best self. This practice has unlocked my potential in ways I never imagined as an aimless teenager. I urge students everywhere, discover your inner lion and let your voice roar. Nam Myoho Rengekyo holds the key to overcoming self-doubt and unlocking our limitless potential. We simply need to chant.